it going, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Learn Hearthstone with Durndy. This is the second time I've tried recording this episode. I tried to find an opponent last time and somehow got disconnected from the service. So hopefully uh, things will work out this time and uh, we will find an opponent to face off with. Uh, maybe they're doing some sort of update on the servers or something like that, but... Hopefully not. Hopefully we can find an opponent and uh, we can play some Hearthstone. Now, of course, uh, last video I had uh, three losses in a row with the Hunter. So I went back and I retooled the deck a little bit. So we're going to see how that works out. And I am facing off against another Hunter. So this should be interesting. At least I hope it's interesting. So we're going first. And I'm pretty okay with these starting cards. We get another card since we uh, are starting first, so we'll pick that up at the beginning of the turn. There we go. Uh, we'll start off with our Wind Fury character. We will end our turn. And uh, hello, Isla Mo. Didn't I fight you in a previous video or something like that? I can't remember. That name sounds very familiar. It uh, definitely sounds like uh, that song that was on the uh, Wild Wild West soundtrack, but hey, who knows. Alright, so uh, we took him down to 26 uh, within the second turn. That can change very quickly, so he is going to come out with his taunt creature, the Patriarch. Card that I use a lot as well. Give a friendly beast 2-2 two, two, and taunt. So I'd like to be able to keep this guy alive if I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just attack him like that and end my turn. And hopefully I can uh, give this guy a boost when the next turn comes around. Put down the Hound Master. Unleash the Hounds! I love Mo playing Hearthstones with I love Mo. So he's attacking me directly, which might uh, might work out in my favor, might not. So we will do this. He let the dogs out. So what we'll do is we'll take this guy down a peg. We'll attack him. And then we'll attack Rexar, and we will end our turn. So things going okay for us so far. I'd say he's going to take out my Wing Fury character uh, as soon as he gets the first chance, but that is part of the game. Uh, we will have five mana. Uh, I could put down the Buzzard, and then hopefully we draw and maybe use the animal companion on the next turn because we would summon a beast and uh, that will let us draw an extra card. He's got uh, quite the handful up to uh, six cards and four mana, so he must have some deciding to do. And uh, hopefully he doesn't take uh, too, too long while he's doing that. In that first video I did while I was uh, trying to find an opponent, I uh, went on a bit of a ramble about uh, what to do on a Friday afternoon. It is... Friday afternoon where I am. Just got off of work and decided to uh, sit down, play some Hearthstone, record a couple of videos. What do you guys like to do after work? You know, it, it's still kind of too early to go out and watch a movie, but, uh, you know, you still got time to take care of some chores and stuff like that. Maybe go to uh, the liquor store, corner store, or whatever, pick up some uh, beverages for the evening. Maybe phone your friends, make some plans for the night. So this guy isn't doing anything. Maybe he has disconnected. Hopefully he hasn't. This will make for a very boring start of the video. It's uh, just uh, me attacking him. Your opponent left. My opponent left. Okay. So, um... We'll just... Okay, I guess that means that uh, he just dies. So there's a victory there! Um, was it really... The victory I was looking for but uh, there you go so that uh, starts off the video with my first victory bit of a too short of a video I did pick up some gold I do have enough coins now to go into the re the arena but I don't want to do that quite yet 
I want to save that for another video, basically start off fresh after I've built my deck and everything, and uh, then play a few games in the arena. So I'll save that for next video. I'll play one more casual game for this video, and uh, hopefully my opponent won't just uh, up and leave on us. That wasn't too long trying to find an opponent there. And we're fighting Malfurion with Eli Kenyano something. I'm terrible with names, so hello to you, whoever you are. Uh, we will keep these cards going second this time. Attack and one armor. I didn't do anything in turn. Uh, let's put down our Timber Wolf and we will go to the next turn. And I think what I'm going to do is drop the coin and then drop the Animal Companion. If he does put down a large creature, though, I might have to use the kill command. Summon a two pet. So, down the coin. And we will summon a random companion. So we got a 5 2 boar with charge. Now, if I attack this guy, he's just going to kill the boar. So, uh, we're going to go right to town on his health right now and uh, take him down a couple of pegs. Now, he will be able to attack me for at least three, maybe four. For this turn. So maybe next time might be uh, a good time to use the kill command. So we do have a couple of beasts out. It can do five damage. So he's deciding what to do right now, looking through his cards. So he's got plus two, plus two with hunt, so that puts him up to five, four. So yeah, that uh, that kill command starting to look better and better. Okay, what's this card do? Two attack this turn and Armor, he's going to attack me directly. No, nope, he's going to attack the beast. Okay. Well, there you go. So, just like that, I am out of creatures. The three mana. So, we are just going to take out this guy. Kind of even at the board and move on to the next turn. So, we'll be up to four mana next time. Can put out the Oasis Snapjaw. And, uh,. Put out the Timber Wolf on the next turn, which will give him a little bit of uh, extra attack. Gave himself armor, and he's attacking me for four. So it looked like his uh, his deck is uh, built around direct damage, which uh, is a pretty good build. Let's try the Animal Companion again, and uh, let's see who we have. We have Misha with Taunt. We'll put down our Timber Wolf, which uh, gives us a 5-4 creature. We will move on to the next turn. So he's got plus four armor. Which will take a little bit of doing to get through so we can start to damage again. So we're into the mid-game now. We've got uh, five and four mana respectively. So we're going to start to see more and more powerful cards and creatures. So I suspect uh, this will end very shortly, or at least the outcome will become apparent very shortly. He, do, he does have the non-standard card back, which means that uh, he's reached at least level 20, or rank 20 in the uh, ranked games. It's 2 2 and taunt. Every summon beast rock card. Hmm. Let's put down the snapjaw. We'll attack him for one chip away at his armor a little bit. Uh, if I can play this Houndmaster on the Snap Jaw, uh, that should uh, that should work out very well for us. But he might have something to hard counter that. You never know with Hearthstone. Damage to me. Okay. That was interesting. I don't have any beast now. We have adjacent minions time. Um what do? Let's just take her out. 
We will be happy with just doing some damage with the Trents right now. So that will put us up to seven. So I can put out the Patriarch and then summon the Houndmaster and uh, give him the plus two. Okay, he's playing some creatures now. I'll cry, death rattle. One for each. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the Patriarch. We're going to play the Houndmaster. And... We're going to take her out. Just, uh, just to clear out the board a bit. It might be a mistake leaving the Raid Leader because he'll be able to boost up whatever else he summons, but I think we have to try it at least. Okay, so he's got a 8-8 uh, eight, eight with a taunt. Well, 9-8 now with a taunt. Won't be able to attack till next turn. Okay. So we can put down the buzzard. We can put down this guy. This gives us a card. So he's got 9-8. Let's take down the raid leader. Have to attack the guy with Todd. So four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sacrifice these guys. He's gonna do a bunch of damage to me next turn, but hopefully we can tank it. And then kinda get rid of these guys with the multi shot. Okay, what are you gonna do? Stealth? That can be bad. And it should attack me for two more. He's doing as much damage as he possibly can to try and finish this off. And that was an interesting choice of attack, but anyway. All right, let's drop. Can it attack him? Let's drop this. Okay. Drop the buzzer. That handmaster will be this. Well, we're going to attack the raid leader. And we're going to end our turn. So, this could go either way. I'm not sure, but... 3-3 three, three beast with taunt. Probably use his power and attack me for 8. I'm fine with losing one of them. Go, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Do it. Do it. That takes you out of stealth. Now what do you got? Come on. I'll take whatever you got. Attack. He's going to attack me for one. Bam. All right. So let's put down the Patriarch. We're going to put down this guy. Uh, he can take both of those so we're just going to do a shot at him we will end our turn so he's basically relying now on whatever cards he's drawn i'm uh, i'm pretty much in the same boat two two and time so five my patriarch should still be able to tank at least one attack and he might attack himself as well This armor is attacking me for two. Okay, this is going to be a close game. 
we're going to four, five, six. I we have to get rid of this guy. That, that's an absolute. We'll put down the core hound. We'll attack him for two. This is going to be a very, very close game, which is great. I love these type of games, skin of the teeth. So he can play whatever this card is. We're at full mana right now. Hopefully it's not something terrible for me. Shield Master, I, I think I can deal with. It's going to attack me for three. Do I win? Is there any way for him to stop the onslaught? I don't think there is. I win. The minion we taught. Oh. Well, I guess not. Well, uh, let's uh, just take it the uh, Shield Master. So he's bought himself one more turn. He can attack me for three, so we're pretty par on health. Uh, he might be able to just buy himself enough time with these uh, taunt creatures until he pulls like a really powerful card. He can take out this guy right now, actually. A six attack. Yeah, uh, he might do this unless I draw something really powerful with uh, the charge. But a very close game nonetheless. Okay. I absolutely have to take this guy out. There's, there's just no... Well, there's no uh, way around it. So he's going to be able to attack me for at least another one unless he has like a direct damage card or a creature with charge. So yeah, draw, deal damage, five damage. Yeah, that was, uh, that was exactly the card he needed right there. So that was a good game. Very close. And uh, that kind of makes me feel all right about the Hunter deck so far. Like, it wasn't a complete defeat. So we'll try one more uh, casual game, because that first game was still pretty... Uh, well, well, that first game was non-existent, because the guy just left. But that game was close enough for me to uh, to feel good about the Hunter deck. So we'll, we'll just try one more. We'll wrap up the video. Then I will start recording a, a new video of me in the arena. As a thought, hello to you. Uh, the core hound is a little bit out of my mana range right now, so we're going to replace him. And yeah, we'll take the uh, the rhino. I guess we really don't have a choice. So. My greetings. Oh, he's uh. He's a very nice person, it seems. He's greeting anyway. Uh, so the idea is... He's just going to take that guy out. Okay, never mind. That should end off his turn. Alright, we will... Just attack him directly by two. End our turn there. Three, so we'll be able to shed three damage. Let's take out that crocolisk. A natural mistake. Uh, sure what mistake he's talking to. Three three with Todd. Okay, we'll drop down the grizzly and see how he reacts to it. I don't really expect the grizzly to survive because he can do at least four damage this turn. At least, but if he does. Uh, it might be a good time to drop the Hound Master and boost him up to 5-5. Five, five. Gain two mana crystals. Wow. They'll never know what to do. Damage to an arrow. It's just going to clear off the board. Which is a good thing to do. Now, I have four mana and I can do five damage if I put down a beast. That's what I'm going to do. We'll clear off the board again, and we'll see how he reacts to that. These uh, first few turns going fairly quickly, but uh, things should maybe start to slow down. 
to get more and more mana. I'd love to have one, another one of those kill command cards. Ah, uh, four and five, two. It's going to have three. Put down the Patriarch. Kill the tank it though. I need to kind of absorb some damage right now, so uh, we'll just put him down. The Patriarch will die this turn. I almost need like the full 10 mana to be able to make this work. So another uh, kill command go a long way right now. So let's see what he is going to lay out, see what I have to take out. I'm going to use this Houndmaster effectively as well. So he's just going to attack that. Puts him down to three. Now, if we use our Houndmaster on a wolf... Oh, never mind. It well for him. Three damage to two rats. Two and three. Yeah, I'm not feeling really good about this game. Attack for two. He'll be able to do at least eight or nine damage this turn. Unless he gets stupid and attacks my wolf. Uh, plus two, yep. Yeah. That's more damage for him. <sighs> Things starting to stack up in his favor pretty quickly. Six, ten, eleven. He did attack the wolf. Decided that, that was worth it. Okay. Can put down the patriarch. Now that will give him three six. Yeah, we will have to do that just to kind of Get some creatures out. He, you know, he's just going to attack Patriarch with that, but unless he heals up again. Wow, he's uh, he's really been hard countering uh, whatever I, I put out. So yeah, this uh, this is not going so great. Oh, he just realized that uh, matter he did. So he's going to attack by himself. Some more damage to me. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to end pretty quickly for me unless I can draw something fairly awesome. Let's put down the core hound, see how he reacts to it. Before he can do about 10 damage to me right now. He put down his own core hound. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this not going well for me at all. My turn. Alright. Summon a beast, dry card. Summon him. Trap. <laughs> I thought I might get one of those skill commands or something like that, but no, it's, uh, that's not going to happen for us. So we'll just attack him. And we'll give him a well-played, because, well, it was a well-played game. He uh, definitely had the right cards at the right time with the right strategy, so don't feel too bad about this loss. Sorry about that. Sorry, I guess, uh... He didn't realize that he could just attack. <laughs> anyway, good uh, good game, as of that. Defeat. It's not the arms, it is defeat. Well, uh, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. I didn't, uh, didn't really pull out any wins with the uh, Hunter deck, but uh, hey, that is part of it. So uh, next time around, I am going to play uh, playing some games in the arena. I'll uh, start it up after I've selected my cards, so just to give you a 
uh, guys a little bit of surprise on what cards I went with. And then you guys can look at the video and yell at me for picking the wrong card. So hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please like and subscribe. I will be back with you again next time.